If you are watching this, it means you are either a new Firefly community member or a current member in need of a reminder. If you are a new member, welcome. If you are a community member needing a reminder of the rules, this will be your last chance. We will not hesitate to drop you or feed you to the infected. Rule number one, gun safety. Whether you're shooting infected, scavengers, raiders, or members of other communities, gun safety is crucial. It determines whether you live or die. How? Simple. If you fail at gun safety, you're most likely to die due to your own idiotic behavior. If you know your gun safety and are a responsible member, congratulations, you're more likely to survive. Starting with the basics, you should always keep the safety on when you're not using the gun. If you're heading into the wilderness, covering bases, or protecting your fellow Firefly community members, you must keep your gun on you at all times. But that doesn't mean you need to have the safety off. Keeping the safety on or off is not a choice but a rule of the Firefly community. Examples of when you need your gun safety on include Moments of no visible threat, e.g. no infected or hostile threats in sight or when you are on base. Times when you need to have your safety off include When there are visible infected nearby, when there is a clear and approaching threat during any mandatory use. Remember it only takes a few seconds to turn the safety on or off, but it could take a lifetime to recover if you shoot yourself. Next, do not treat your gun like a toy. You'd be surprised how many people joke around with their weapons. Guns are not toys, and we are not children. A gun is a weapon and a tool to use against actual threats. This means no pointing them at your teammates, whether loaded or not. No aiming at random animals, and certainly not at yourself. You should always act as if every gun is loaded, even if you know it's not. There might always be that one gun you think is unloaded, but there's a bullet inside. Gun safety is essential, and as fireflies we've made it clear. We cannot look for the light when there is no light left in you. Medical rules. If you or a fellow firefly encounters someone injured on the ground, ask them for any useful information, whether it's the location of stashes, other people, or nearby infected. If the person is incompetent, unreliable, or refuses to provide information, kill them. It's better for them, and for us, to reduce the risk of infection. If someone is bitten or has inhaled spores, do not hesitate. Kill them, even if they beg for mercy. If you or a fellow firefly have been bitten, drop all moral hesitation and do what's necessary. We cannot afford an infection in the camp. Some may lie about their infection out of fear for their own lives. If you notice anyone lying about being infected, report them immediately for execution. If a fellow firefly is injured in a non-infected situation, whether from a falling object destroyed buildings, or a gunshot wound, report it to the Firefly Medical Center at any local firefly camp. We may not have everything, but we have enough resources to treat most injuries. If you encounter a non-firefly member injured by something non-infected, kill them and search for loot. This is for your own safety, and more importantly, the safety of the camp. Do not trust non-Firefly members. And finally, betrayal. If you are caught committing treason, robbery, murder, or any form of betrayal against the Fireflies, whether against the community itself or a single member, your fellow Fireflies are to strictly report it to the community for immediate execution. If you witness anyone committing these acts, report it to Marlene, Firefly officers, or any of the hundreds of members we have. Do not bring infected to the base. Do not steal from the base. If you see anyone immune, report it immediately for the cure project. And remember, if you are lost in the darkness, look for the light.